Hey there, guys, Skibby here from Skibby6 Gaming in Tutorial Land, and yeah, so today we're gonna do a secret door in the floor, yeah. So over here, if you can see what we have here, I have it set up because you could just leave a pressure plate, but I think it's cooler if you just keep a pressure plate as a key. You could name it in an anvil that says like house key or whatever, and as you can see, it looks like there's no base right here, but you know that if you put a pressure plate right there and then run this way, Let's see if I can't do it. And there you go. You're in your floor and your base. Secret base, totally hidden. The floor looks exactly completely invisible. And then what? You know what? Sometimes people want to uh, get out of their base, so it's easy. Come up here and press the button. And pop, you're out of your base. You're good to go. Take your pressure plate with you. And it looks like there's nothing there at all. So that said, this is a very easy... Uh, it's pretty easy. You could do all kinds of little things with this. So... I think we'll just tell you what you need, guys. For your uh, hidden floor door, you'll need one slime block, four sticky pistons, uh, five furnaces or removable blocks, obsidian, whatever you need, and uh, two repeaters, three redstone torches, and then 13 redstone dust. So before we jump into this build, don't forget to smash that like right now for my daily Minecraft uploads. Show some love. Help my channel grow. I'm almost at 100k, guys. Wow. I'm so stoked. I'm grinding so hard to get there. So you know what? Let's build this bad boy. Okay, so we got our stuff. Let's make this bad boy go. Start off with a five long, two wide, three deep hole in the ground. Now keep in mind, guys, this bottom left corner is going to be your secret base area. I've dug out a little bit of it just to uh, keep you all ahead of the game. And uh, no one wants to watch people do that. So go to this, put two blocks right there. Grab your sticky pistons and throw two sticky pistons, one on top of each other. And then throw another one facing up right in front. Grab a redstone repeater here, two ticks delay, redstone dust, all the way around the outside, round the outside, round the outside, okay, and put a block there, don't put the redstone dust, wow. Okay, so now we're just going to come around the right side here and get our pressure plate going, so uh, get rid of two, get rid of two, 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 and on this last one right here, just get rid of the bottom one, very simple, throw a block of choice right here with a redstone torch right there. Go ahead and fill these guys with dust and uh, dust right here bang and now you can see looks like it's working pretty good so this in theory this part here is actually done so if our floor is going to be uh mm -hmm. if our floor is going to be stone then our key right here is going to be the key to success so basically now this works right here it should work see <laughs> now i have to get out why did i you're a noob skippy skippy's a noob <laughs> Wow. Okay, so let's just get out of here. Okay, so back on track. So now the one thing we're going to have to do here is we are going to have to head down the hole, actually, believe it or not. So what I'm going to do is actually, uh, hmm, I think what I'll do is uh, go right down the hole, actually. <laughs> uh, no. There we go. Okay, so we're down here. You know what? Let's clear out uh, another row for us here. We should be fine. Get rid of this guy, get rid of this guy, and this guy. So, this is where you come down the hole. So, what we want to do is throw two hole in the ground right there, right there, and a slime block. So, now the one thing you're going to have to do is make sure that you change this block and this block to a furnace or obsidian if you're lazy like me. And uh, there. So, now we know nothing's going to get stuck uh, the other thing we're going to have to do is put a, another obsidian there. So as you can see, four, five, six, perfect. Again, furnaces, whatever you need. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and throw this guy up here. Once that's done, now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and see where we head to with this one. Okay, so we're in the ground. Let's just go up to the sky so we can make sure. So basically what we're going to do here actually is go back down. And let's uh, let's just switch these sides. We're going to go the other way. Perfect. So now once you've done this, you're going to want to see that this goes right next to where your pressure plate goes. So you can see that up here. That's the pressure plate. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to have to go back around and down anyway. So... First things first, you put a torch right here, then you fly up. Again, I'm just going to bust some blocks out of our way here. 
throw a block of choice on top of that guy. And then once you do that, throw a torch on it. It'll flash. You're good. So let's go back downstairs here. We're just going to use our trusty hole. So as you can see, we have everything we need. We do need a button. I don't think I told you you need a button in uh, the items you need. But I'm sure you could locate one if you really trust it. So there you go. So now the only thing left for us to do is actually put our slime block here and then trigger it so that it actually goes. So let's dig out a little love. We're going to have to go back. get this down there perfect so that's going to be where the slime block is so that means that the piston is going to be right there so let's just go up here now let's just go over here finish this dude off it's very simple redstone dust redstone dust redstone dust this redstone dust is going to go over to this guy right here so easy enough grab a redstone repeater and put this guy here on four ticks delay and throw a redstone dust on there. I think we just did it. Mission accomplished. So if we come here, press the button, pop, bo, bang, oh, there you go. Looks good to me. Again, fill your floor in however you want because actually you're all done now, guys. There's your secret uh, floor door. Very easy, guys, very simple. And as you can see, I have all these holes everywhere. I'm like, ah, oh, fell on the holes. But as you can see, opens closes i think we'll actually just do it one more time let's just do it one more time we're in the base looks good to me go here press the button and bang the tip for this one guys is when i first did this it kind of threw me off just make sure you're always holding forward when using the door and don't miss the hole in the ground because that'll cause you to have some problems but all you got to do is make sure that you're going that's why i used the fence post on the last one i really liked it but hold forward because here watch what happens if you just press the button and don't hold forward you see, it kind of glitches you out a little bit. It's weird. But if you just hold forward, you'll be good to go, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't forget to smash that like, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I'm almost at 100K. Help me get there, bros. And tune in for some more daily Minecraft uploads. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one.